Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of The Source. Uh, we got NFL Sunday here. This is college football Saturday that's happening right now. Started off so hot, and it looks like it's actually going to finish around even, and that's depressing for how we started. Uh, but let's put it behind us. We got NFL here. In this video, we're talking Buffalo Bills, Miami Dolphins. Let's go. Welcome to The Source. The Source. The hey, get the sewers. All right, like I said, we got the Dolphins on the road in Buffalo to play the Bills. The Bills are laying 13 and a half points at home. And as of Tuesday morning, all the actions on the Bills, 74% of the money on Buffalo. This is as of Tuesday, 9 a.m. And the Buffalo money just doesn't stop. Money keeps coming in on the Bills. Uh, books react to it. Line moves from 13 and a half up to 14. And here we are on Saturday night. We got 92% of the money on the Bills now. So let's cap this game. If you subscribe to this channel, you already know the first step. We're running the numbers through the spreadsheet. According to the analytics, the line for this game should be Buffalo minus 14.82 which tells us basically nothing. That's exactly what the books have it at. All right, let's run through a quick breakdown of this game. And there's a stat I want to start with. <laughs> it's a, a brief recent history between these two teams. In their last five meetings, the Bills are 5-0, and undefeated, and they've won those games by an average of 19 points. So the Bills haven't just been beating the Dolphins, they've been humiliating them in recent history. So let's talk Miami Dolphin defense, and we all know what the Dolphins like to do. They blitz heavy, play man on the outside, sometimes cover zero, sometimes cover one. Um, they have the fifth highest blitz rate in the league this year. How's it working out for them? The answer is it's not working at all. Brian Flores needs to make a change because this just isn't working. Look at these stats here. Miami Dolphins defense, right? 28th in the NFL in sacks, 26th in opponents pass yards per attempt, 30th in total pass yards allowed, 31st in passing first downs allowed, and they've allowed the most 20 plus yard passing plays by a lot in the NFL. Do I even need to go any further about the Dolphins defense? I mean, we know Josh Allen, we know what this Buffalo Bills offense is capable of, the Bills might put up 50 points in this game, and that's not even being ridiculous. Like, they really might. To take this Dolphins defense versus Bills offense matchup even further, Miami is 31st in the NFL in third down defense against the Bills, who are second in the league in third down conversions. How are they going to get these people off the field? For real, uh, the Bills might score on every single drive. All right, so we've covered Miami's defense, and we know they're in trouble. Now let's get to a bright spot for the Dolphins. Tua, coming off a game where he went 32 of 40, 291 yards and four touchdowns. I'd say by far his most explosive performance as an NFL quarterback so far. In fact, that's two games in a row where Tua Tagovailoa has looked pretty solid, um, but there's something we need to keep in mind. Since he returned from injury, he's played Jacksonville uh, and Atlanta. Right? This is the Buffalo Bills who have the number one pass defense in the entire NFL, number two in the NFL in points allowed. This is an official NFL defense right here. We're really gonna see what Tua is made of in this game. And to start his career, he really hasn't been good against the Bills. He's played them twice. He has a total of 374 yards passing, one touchdown, three interceptions. So he's not off to a great start against this division rival. Do I really need to say anything else? Are we even considering betting the Dolphins here? No, no, not at all, not at all. Um, I like to have fun. Exactly. Lay the points, man. Take Buffalo. Give me the Bills minus 14. I'm putting it on the final ticket, maybe even the top seven. We'll see. Final ticket will be posted on kylecrims.com, 11 a.m. Eastern time with my bet of the day, parlay of the day, top, uh, top seven bets, and every single pick for every single game of the entire day. Post to kylecrims.com, 11 a.m. Eastern time. Also, if there's any crazy last minute changes, injury updates, money shifts, line movement, anything like that, I will definitely put it on my Twitter, Instagram story, and Facebook. So make sure you check one of those three platforms before you place your bets. NFL Sunday is here. Hopefully we finish up in college football. There's still some games going. It's coming down to the wire. So hopefully we end up grabbing a unit or two. We'll see. I'll keep you posted. But either way, NFL Sunday, we're going to make some bread. I feel it, man. I'll talk to you on Twitter.